Hey everyone, um, so this is a very highly requested video about which EPs uh, every square one person should know and there isn't a solid list out there so I thought I might as well make a video establishing like a sort of basic list that everyone should know to get at least uh, sub 30 or sub 20 in square one and these EPs uh, are really useful you can get your times really down and they're very finger trick friendly so without further ado I'm just gonna show you the algorithms right now so throughout this tutorial I'm gonna assume you don't use CP parity and um, you're gonna be learning parity algorithms and non parity algorithms so the first one that you should already know is the adjacent JSON algorithm Should be that easy. Um, the next one you should know is the adjacent parity algorithm here. Like that. And before I move on to the next alg, um, you should know that this is an M2. One negative one 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 that's an m2 so the next one that you should know is m2 u2 m2 which is an opposite opposite swap so those are the three EPs that you should already know before watching this video alright so the first two algorithms I'm gonna be showing you is are two ways you can do the adjacent JSON swap uh, from different angles it makes your uh, saw is very efficient and brings your move count a lot down. So this first algorithm you can hold it like this and you're gonna do one zero zero three negative one negative one one negative two. Then the second one you're gonna hold it like this and you can do zero negative one negative three zero one one Two negative one. Uh, the next two algorithms that you should know are these uperm algorithms. Now they're not pure uperms; they're uperms on both layers. So on the top we have a clockwise uperm, and on the bottom we also have another clockwise uperm. Uh, the way you can recognize this, this is that you have solved edges here, and you have opposite in the front top and in the back bottom. So the algorithm for this one is one zero five negative one negative three zero one one negative three zero and negative one zero. Second one, um, it's essentially the mirror of it, uh, except you're gonna hold the both of the opposites on the front right here. So it would be the same angle as this, but instead you're doing U2. So the algorithm for this is 1, 0, 3, 0, negative 1, negative 1, 3, 0, negative 5, 1, negative 1, 0. The next two are pure U perms on the top. Uh, so this one's a clockwise U perm. You're going to hold it such that the solved edge is in the front, and you're going to do this algorithm. Uh, 3, 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, negative 3, negative 1, 0, negative 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 3, negative 1, 0. The next one is a counterclockwise U perm. So for this one, it's essentially the mirror. So same angle, 1, 0, 0, negative 3, negative 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0, 3, negative 1, 0, negative 3, 0. Next one is a Z-perm. The Z-perm is actually really easy, so you hold it like so. And you can do a M2, U prime, M2, U, 
M2. Now the next one is an H perm on the top. Um, this algorithm is pretty easy to figure out if you know how to do an H perm on a 3x3. Uh, but usually I prefer doing U primes instead of U's. So it goes M2, U prime, M2, U2, M2, U prime, M2. The next two algorithms are opposite and adjacent on two different layers. So on, right here we have an opposite over here and an adjacent in the back, right here. So you can hold it in uh, back right and you're going to do this. 1, 0, uh, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 3, 5, 0, negative 5, 0, uh, 0, 3, 0, 1, negative 1, 0. So basically the algorithm, if you reverse it, it's the same algorithm, so it's palindromic. Uh, this one is adjacent opposite, so you're going to hold it at a similar angle. But this algorithm that I use is a bit different from the last one. So it goes like 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 3, 0, and then 6, 1, 5, 0, negative 3, 0, 0, negative 1, and then All right, now we're gonna move on to parity algorithms. So this one is an O perm, which has to go this way. So it's clockwise, and you can hold it however you like. How you recognize the U perms is what if it's going left, then it's going to be a clockwise, and if it's going right in this example, then it's counterclockwise. So clockwise, you would go slash three three. 1, 0, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 2, 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3, 1, 0, 2, 2, and 0, negative 2. This is the other counterclockwise O perm, 3, 3. 1, 0, negative 2, negative 2, 2, 2, 2, negative 1, 0, negative 3, negative 3, 0, 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0. The next algorithm is the opposite swap algorithm. Um, if you know the O perm that I just showed, this algorithm will be really easy to remember. So it starts off the same as an O perm. 3, 3, 1, 0, negative 2, the counterclockwise U perm, so 2, 0. And then here's where it swaps. 2, 2, right here. 0, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 3 negative 3, negative 3, and then you finish off the same way as you would do a counterclockwise U perm. So 0, 2, 2, 2, negative 1. And finally, we have the uh, U perm and adjacent algorithms. I really like these algorithms because every single big parity case that I have can be reduced to one of these four algorithms. And if you know these four algorithms, then I guarantee your times will drop pretty significantly. So the first one is um, a clockwise U perm and adjacent right here. You want to put the adjacent such that uh, these two edges line up with the middle edge and the opposite edge here. So this algorithm here is negative 3, negative 3, 0, 1, 0, negative 2. 0, negative 4, negative 4, 0, negative 4, 0, negative 2, 0, 5, 0, negative 3, negative 3. This one is the inverse of that, so this is a 
counterclockwise U perm and an adjacent here. So it goes like this. 3, 3, negative 5, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, 2, 0, negative 1, 3, 3. These are the uh, algorithms for adjacent U perm where adjacent is on the top. So this one is counterclockwise and adjacent here. So same thing, you hold the adjacent above these two edges, the opposite and the middle edge. So this one goes like negative 3, negative 3, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 2, 0, negative 4, 0, negative 4, negative 4, 0, negative 2, 0, negative 5, 0, negative 3, negative 3. This one is the inverse of that, so this is clockwise down here and adjacent up here. 3, 3, 5, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, 4, 0, 2, 0, 1, and 3, 3. Alright, so those are all the algorithms that I suggest most people know. I know a lot of fast square wonders out there don't know the U perms, but I really like them and they're pretty fast to execute. So this is not a definite, comprehensive, exhaustive list of all the, every single EP. And if you want the entire list of every single EP, I'll post a link to a spreadsheet with all algorithms in the description below. I don't use all the algorithms, but I haven't compiled a list. Um, that might come eventually, I don't know. But if you have any questions, if I misspoke in this uh, tutorial, uh, let me know, however, through YouTube or Facebook, whatever. Um, I might come out with more EP videos in the future. So, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.